वेलकम बैक एवरी वन टू के सी एन केमिस्ट्री क्लासेस टूडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट सम इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन एंड एंसर ऑफ केमिकल बॉन्डिंग फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ग्लिसरॉल इज मोर फिस्कस दैन इथानॉल एक्सप्लेन नाउ इफ यू ड्रॉ द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ग्लिसरॉल देयर इज थ्री ओइज ग्रुप सो इट कैन फॉर्म थ्री हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड विद थ्री अदर मॉलिक्यूल्स नाउ इन केस ऑफ इथानॉल देयर इज ओनली वन ओइज ग्रुप सो इट कैन फॉर्म ओनली वन hydrogen bond with the other molecules so glycerol form three hydrogen bond where ethanol form only one hydrogen bond that is why the density of glycerol will be higher than ethanol and that is why glycerol is more viscous than ethanol our next question is h2o is a liquid where h2s is a gas why now oxygen and sulfur both are present in the same group that is group 16 oxygen can satisfy the two main criteria for hydrogen bonding number 1 small size number 2 high electronegativity for this two reason oxygen can form hydrogen bond in case of water oxygen can form intermolecular hydrogen bond with the other molecules of water but in h2s sulfur cannot form any hydrogen bond with the other molecules and that is why the boiling point of water is greater than h2s that means boiling point of h2s lesser than room temperature because h2s cannot form any hydrogen bond with the other molecules of h2s where the boiling point of h2o is greater than room temperature and it is found as liquid due to formation of intermolecular hydrogen bonding now our next question is on the basis of vesper theory draw the structure of this molecules number 1 pcl5 number 2 so2 number 3 co2 number 4 ammonia now we have a formula for this answer that is number of hybrid orbital equals to number of valence electron in the central atom plus number of monovalent atom divided by 2 this formula is used for find out the hybridization of the central atom for a neutral compound now for pcl5 h that means the number of hybrid orbital equals to the number of valence electron in the central atom that means the number of valence electron present in phosphorus atom this is 5 because the electronic configuration of phosphorus is 2,8,5 5 so 5 is the valence electron and number of monovalent atom that is 5 here 5 chlorine is present chlorine are monovalent so 5 divided by 2 equals to 5 so total number of hybrid orbital present in phosphorus atom in pcl5 is 5 so the hybridization will be sp3d the hybridization of phosphorus atom in pcl5 is sp3d and the shape of the molecule will be trigonal bipyramidal this is trigonal bipyramidal now for sulfur dioxide H equals to the number of valence electron present in sulfur equals to six, and here no monovalent atom are present, so the number of monovalent atom equals to zero, equals to three. So the hybridization of sulfur is sp two, and the number of bond pair present in sulfur equals to 2 because the number of element attached with sulfur equals to 
and here one lone pair will be present so the shape of the molecule will be angular and oxygen here is a bivalent element so it will form double bond with sulfur atom so the shape of the molecule will be angular now for co2 molecule number of valence electron present in carbon equals to 4 plus number of monovalent atom present in co2 equals to 0 divided by 2 equals to 2 that means the hybridization of carbon in co2 molecule is sp and it will be linear in shape oxygen is a bivalent element so it will form double bond with carbon atom and the shape will be linear for co2 molecule now for ammonia molecule h equals to the number of valence electron present in nitrogen is 5 plus number of monovalent atom present in this molecule equals to 3 divided by 2 this is equals to 4 so the hybridization of nitrogen atom present in ammonia molecule is sp3 now here three elements are directly attached to nitrogen atom and the number of bond pair will be three that means total number of hybrid orbital equals to four and number of bond pair equals to three so there is one lone pair will be present so the shape of the molecule will be pyramidal this is pyramidal shape this is pyramidal shift now our next question is out of ortho para and meta dichlorobenzene which should have the highest and lowest dipole moment now in case of this para isomer the bond dipoles will be cancel out the other bond dipoles so here total mu that is dipole moment equals to zero net resultant is zero in case of meta dichlorobenzene and para sorry ortho dichlorobenzene the net resultant will be greater in case of this ortho isomer the magnitude of the resultant vector of these two dipoles of these two bond dipoles will be greater than this isomer because here the bond angle is 120 degree and here the bond angle is 60 degree so the resultant vector mu say mu m and here resultant vector is mu o so mu o is greater than mu m because the bond angle is lesser in case of this ortho isomer and in case of meta isomer as the bond angle is increases the magnitude of the dipole moment will be decreases in case of this para isomer the one dipoles one bond dipoles will be cancelled the another bond dipoles so here the mu will be zero mu p that is para isomer mu p equals to zero that means the order will be order of dipole moment will be mu o greater than mu m greater than mu p and this is our answer now our next question is draw the molecular orbital diagram of o2 plus what is the bond order also write about the magnetic nature of o2 plus now for o2 plus o2 plus is formed by o and o plus here the mo diagram pattern for o2 type molecule here this is the ao diagram of o here the ao diagram of o plus ao means atomic orbital diagram and this is the mo diagram of o2 plus ion now for o atom the electronic configuration is 
1 is 2, 2 is 2, 2 p 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Here for o, o plus, the electronic configuration is 1 is 2, 2 is 2, 2 p 3. Now when they form O2 plus, then the molecular orbital diagram will be this is sigma 1s, this is sigma 1s star. So this is bonding orbital and this is anti-bonding orbital. So here the total number of electron 2 plus 2, 4. So here 2 and here 2. So 2 plus 2, 4. Here 2 plus 2 total electron 4. So it is sigma 2s orbital. It is sigma 2s star orbital okay now total number of electron 4 so here 2 and here 2 now when 2p orbitals are combined it will form sigma 2p sigma 2p star and there pi 2p and pi 2p star these two are pi 2p star. Now total electron 4 and 3, 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So our bond order for these molecules is bond order equals to number of electron in bonding orbital minus number of electron in anti-bonding orbital by 2. Number of electron in bonding orbital this is 2, 4, 6 and 4 means 10 minus number of electron in anti-bonding orbital this is 2, 4 and 1, 5 by 2 it is 2.5. So the bond order of O2 plus bond order of O2 plus is 2.5 and here one unpaired electron is present so this species will be paramagnetic in nature so this is paramagnetic paramagnetic species now our next question is draw the orbital diagram of BF3 molecule. Now the hybridization of boron atom in BF3 is sp2. So three hybrid orbital of sp2 of boron atom will combine with three p orbital of fluorine atom. So and form sigma bonds this is sigma bond head on overlap so three fluorine atom connected with boron atom by three sigma bond the orbitals of boron there is sp2 hybrid orbital combined with the p orbitals this is p orbitals of fluorine atom our next question is in between AgCl and AgBr which one is more covalent? Now in case of AgCl the anion is chloride and in case of AgBr the anion is bromide ion. The size of bromide ion is greater than chloride ion. Now, the polarizability of bromide ion is greater than chloride ion. According to Fajan's rule, anions having higher polarizability has higher covalent nature. That means AgBr is more covalent than AgCl.